Namaste. You're right. There's a conceptual structure for releasing tension in the low back. Decompress the sciatic region, relax the pelvic muscles, clear the mind. And you can use this practice as a preparatory technique yeah, or program before some deeper elements later on. So we'll be using folded blankets to support the joints, your bed pillow to support the chest and the back, and additional padding if necessary. All right, so first position is the Matsakridasana or the flapping fish. So it's a simple one, just you know, lie on the tummy and then bend one knee to the side like the shape of the number four. And uh, the pillow under you keeps the chest and the upper back open and then just turn your head facing that bent side. All right, so the idea is to relax the low back, open the hips, and then the breath weighing down into your low back. Exhale the tension out. Good. And then you're holding this position, yeah, maybe from three minutes um, to five minutes. If you feel like your joints start to feel fidgety, yeah, you can fold the knee and then circle the knee around like this. But the idea is to keep the body relaxed. Good. And if you feel like drowning here, you need additional support, you can place another one there. So the head is slightly higher than the heart. You can extend the arm forward uh, as you stretch the knee. All right? And then just let your foot rest. Yeah? Like you're limping, really. Let it go, let it fall, let it relax. And then feel your body contour and the shape of your blanket and the pillow. And ease, eyes closed, head relax. Good. And in this uh, position, it's also good for nourishing you know, the digestive system, the reproductive system, you know, calms the mind. It has this instantaneous effect. You know. Good for the vagus nerve too, the parasympathetic nervous system. All right. You can circle around like that and then kicking. All right, and then staying here, you know, three minutes you know, to five minutes. Good. All right. Feel free to turn the head if you need to recover the neck. All right. The idea is to allow the weight of your body to melt as you exhale. You can even sigh it out. <sighs> All right. So after this, yeah, you don't change right away. So what you do? Yeah, is to level the hips. You can keep your cushion under, yeah, and then folding the knees, and then just like you're playing around the joint, circle around, and that relaxes the hips. This one, maybe three or five to that direction, and reverse direction, and then fanning from side to side, just to release compression in the low back, and you settle for maybe a minute, yeah. Feel free to turn the head or you can place yeah, an elevation here so your forehead can rest, yeah, like you're lying on a massage bed, yeah, like this. You can keep your arms wide or you can rest them close to your hips. Uh, still, now the breath is the centerpiece, inhaling, exhaling, weighing down. Good. All right. And after maybe two, three minutes, this position, yeah, you may lightly press the kneel. Yeah. And from here, just moving your hips to side to side like this. And then try to yeah, lengthen your spine over the leg. If, for example, yeah, folding forward is difficult, you can just go halfway and place that pillow under. And you can hug that pillow, turn the head to either side, or you may place the forehead down. All right, so you just want to keep your knees yeah, close together so there's less movement in the lower spine. But if doing this uh, gives you that sharp pain, because if yeah, the pain is really quite intense, um, just to be able to kneel from the prone position might be intense, So, um, but try. Yeah. So this uh, levels the hips. Okay, from here, what you do is just do a downward facing dog, yeah, to open the spine, yeah, without flexing or without, yeah, putting too much pressure down. You can bend and walk the knees, 
and then you can move to a bit of a side to side but maybe just do three breaths here you know, just to relax the brain this also good for releasing tension yeah in the back of the body all right and after that yeah come back kneeling good and then you do the other side so bending the other knee yeah taking that cushion with you yeah turn the head to the side good oh, sorry about that all right. okay and then soften circle around that this bending and kicking circle the leg like that all right similar yeah has that first round too all right so you may even make up your own stretching you can grab that foot like this if it feels good stretching yeah the main component is let the low back settle all right and after that level the hips again all right but this time yeah you may not try to let me angle so you can see yeah you may not try to yeah place or just fold that additional cushion so you ha your chest is higher and you can just rest the head like this Good. so it does it relaxes the upper back yeah and the low back softens and then the head relax um, and use the hands to support your full head you know, the modified sphinx position okay and from there yeah same as the first technique yeah sitting on your hips moving side to side yeah if you can sustain already yeah you can extend your arms forward and the head down all right and down a facing dog right? and after this come back kneeling and the last position is placing that pillow under you know, and then the additional one behind you and then do a supported side stretch all right if you need more Place another one there, yeah, and then lengthen. Oh, this feels good right away. Yeah, you want to open, yeah, the lateral side of the body. But if you feel like drowning, you can bend, or you can place another one here. So the idea is to open this like that, yeah, and then staying as long as it feels light. Yeah, letting the tension dissolve, and this stretches the yeah. Uh, side trunk all right and from there yeah level the chest right it's thoracic extension all right depending on the discomfort if it's too intense if the pressure is too much just keep your feet down yeah you can yeah tend to your knees like this and the idea is to open the chest and again staying from yeah, three or even as long as five minutes. All right, and then uh, do the other side. Good, and do this again. Now, if um, it's uh, all right, if it's light, you can extend this leg, leg, leg like this, and then just open wide in the part. All right, depending on how the breath flows, yeah, you can add another one or another padding here, so the head is slightly higher than the heart, or you can, yeah, you know, rub your spine backwards you know, feel it you know, rubbing the spine you know, feeling those edges and then open the chest um, extension is good you know, for releasing tension but you need, you need to do extension with support and then ease okay and after this yeah roll to the side uh, you may rest a moment or two here Right. and you can relax yeah, with your spine flat in the Shavasana.